Hall monitor. Chapter 4. SpongeBob turned to Patrick, who was still upset about the ice cream incident. I can't handle this maniac case alone, SpongeBob explained. Patrick, are you ready to give up your life of crime? I want to be good, cried Patrick. Uh-huh, I thought so, SpongeBob said, part of his best buddy. Now, you just need a symbol of authority, he added, looking around. Patrick picked up the ice cream cone from the ground and put it on his head. It fit perfectly. Excellent, said SpongeBob. It is our duty to catch this maniac and bring him to justice. But how to proceed? He looked over at Patrick. Hey, deputy, you're an ex-criminal. What would you do? Hmm, Patrick thought carefully. I know, I'd get an ice cream. Let's go, said SpongeBob. A little while later, SpongeBob and Patrick emerged from the ice cream parlor. They each had an ice cream cone and 75 little taster spoons. Soon, they both had licked their ice creams until they were all gone. Okay, now what? asked SpongeBob. Seconds? suggested Patrick. I'm ready, said SpongeBob, and they headed back inside. Thirds? Patrick suggested a few minutes later. Sure, replied SpongeBob. Seven ice creams later, SpongeBob finally said, Patrick, this isn't working. We're not getting any closer to catching the maniac. Yeah, agreed Patrick, but this ice cream sure is tasty. We've got to do something else, SpongeBob declared. Something with walkie-talkies. Yay, cheered Patrick. SpongeBob pulled out two walkie-talkies, handing one to Patrick. I think we'll have a better chance of catching the maniac if we split up. Oh, Patrick said disappointed. SpongeBob put a hand on Patrick's shoulder. In his best home monitor voice, he said, Remember, it's for the good of the mission. Son, after all, there's a maniac on the loose. Patrick sighed. Yeah, I guess so. Now, duty calls, said SpongeBob. I'll go that way. Deputy, you go some other way. Roll him out. SpongeBob did his best imitation of a siren as he left. Wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo. The next thing Patrick knew, a real police vehicle pulled up to him. Afternoon, son. One cop said to Patrick. Patrick smiled. Hello, brothers. He replied, signaling to his cone hat. The police officers exchanged puzzled looks with each other. They both wondered what they could possibly have in common with this overstuffed starfish. Pressing on, one cop said, we're looking for the maniac. The other officer stuck a unwanted poster in front of Patrick's face and asked, have you seen this guy? Oh, Patrick screamed. He couldn't believe how horrific and frightening the maniac looked. His eyes were as black as coal. His rectangular yellow body radiated menace. Patrick couldn't stand it anymore. Take him away! Take him away! He shouted. Calm down, son, said one of the officers. It's just a drawing, not the real thing. Patrick breathed a small sigh of relief. The police officer continued. Now, we're going to show you this drawing of the maniac again, and you want us, and, and you want to, and you want, you tell us if you've seen him, understand? Yeah, uh-huh, Patrick replied. Okay, said the cop, here we go. Ah, horrible, Patrick screamed again. Take him away! The cop quickly took the took away the drawing. Both officers looked at Patrick then and then at each other. Then one of the officers held the drawing up to Patrick again. Oh! Patrick shouted. The officer took away the drawing and Patrick seemed to instantly calm down. Then the officer showed it to him again. Oh! Patrick shouted. The officer took it away. Patrick was calm. The police officers gave each, each other a sly look and grin. Finally, the cops had had enough entertainment for one day and put the wanted poster away. Stay indoors, son, one cop warned Patrick. 
then the other cop added, and uh, take that stupid cone off your head. Both officers snickered as they drove away. Stay tuned for chapter 5 coming up soon.